Okay. Uh. Bill, uh, Bill. Uh. Tell me why you leave Cause I don't wanna stay. If she don't wanna stay, why don't we separate? I'm leaving. We both gonna have to choose. We both can make this move. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm leaving. So I call my nigga Crib. Tell him that my bitch is tripping. And he said, mine too. So you know we gotta do it. We gon' hit that bar and get it loose. I'm leaving. I'ma head straight to your crib. Grab all of my shit. Say nothing, I'm a dip. I'm leaving. Cause you played me for a fool. We'll reverse right back on you. You know what I'm trying to do. Leaving. So I call my nigga Crib. Tell him that my bitch is tripping. So I've been noticing that edits are a lot popular on Instagram and that's always fun. So, well, that's what I'm doing here. Me and my brother are gonna have a session and well, let's see what we get. Anybody out there, I want you to hear me. Anybody out there, I hope that you with me. Anybody out there, I need you out yeah. Hope you stick around. It's pretty boy, Ron. I was very close to the feeble three shove out on the six star handrail. Well, now let me tell you that feeling, because originally I just wanted to do maybe like feeble shove, but then I was like, wow, this actually spin really quickly. So I skipped the shove and immediately I just went for a three shove the next try and I started sticking it, but then it's crazy, man, because now I'm going to rant. There was a long border just getting in the way. Loud music was playing. Uh, it was windy and three things that were just factoring in my brain. And then I'm over here trying to concentrate to do it. And then not even that, the fourth thing, I had to leave. I had to leave so I was pushing my time limit. All that sucked. But what I'm saying is I'll be back. Not in this video, there won't be a feeble three shove off the six rail, but I'll be back. And uh, it sucks when you have to leave and you're still good for skating. Like I wanted to stay and land it, but I didn't. But you know what? I'm gonna be back. But it was amazing. I landed a new one, uh, the back 180 nose wrench sh shove thingy. And I almost did a new one by accident. Half cap flip 5-0. <sighs> My brain was tripping out when I got into that one. And one last thing, it's so crazy because like the Nine Club is one of my favorite channels. I watch it all the time. And on one of their live streams uh, two weeks ago, I was on there and I donated it twice. One saying, I love you guys so much. And the other one is please get Leo Romero on because he's like one of my favorite skateboarders ever. And I would love to see an interview with him. And because I donated, I guess they're doing raffles or something like that. Go ahead, uh, Big Hen Dog. All right. Well, we have Manuel or Manuel. Manuel. Mowgli Herrera. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he put, love you guys so much. Yes. Donated $4.99. $4.99. Oh, $4.99. Are you out of your mind? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Manuel Mowgli Herrera. Uh, Email us <laughs> at contest at the nine club .com and we'll send you a, like a little gift back. And I won and it's insane. I was like, what the freak? Like, uh, all I gotta say is like, thanks. Like this is, I didn't expect that. And they're amazing. So if you guys don't watch the nine club, you should definitely watch it. Best information place to get your skateboarding knowledge. If that made sense. But just wanted to share that. I somehow won something from the nine club. <laughs> Yeah.
the reason why skate parks are so important is because I know how it feels to not even have a local park. I would literally skate for six years because I started in 2004 and then in 2010 this beautiful park I'm at was born. And there was only one park before this park. It was uh, across town and there was no way, like not even driving, there's no way I was going to be pushing every day to go to that park. And plus that park low key, high key sucks and I don't like it. That's personal preference. Some other people might like it, not me though. And I would just skate street. That means I would just be jumping downstairs for life. <laughs> Uh, make that means I would go through so many boards uh, Bolts be losing and just like traveling non-stop street skating adventuring, which is like What skating is basically about but I Wasn't learning as fast. I wasn't being consistent. That means I would go to the street just All right, let's try let's see if I can land it and I don't think that's the best method to go about to filming a video part or even getting better so i think for the first six years of my skate life i kind of sucked but when i you showed you footage it looked like i was good so i want to say that this is my main reason that i believe skate parks are the best because you just own your skills you get to learn and you just there's options like flat bars, boxes, manual pads, pyramids, stairs, transition. There's so much if you if that and that's what will allow you to evolve as a skateboarder and develop a different style. Like even now how I skate is way different than what I was skating like 10 years ago. Like I promise you there's no way I'm skating the same. Maybe the tricks that I do, may, who knows, but I I I enjoy skating a flat bar more. Like seeing if I could flip in or flip out and it's just the best so skate parks are where it's at and lately I've been skating a skate park more because I find myself not having enough time to go to a street spot and then just risk getting kicked out but that's what I think let me know what you guys think I want to know what's your experience with a skate park and a street spot because it's true like we all have our own personal preference someone might be skating a park way more than street so they crave street more than park so to me it's i enjoy everything but as of right now parks allow me to maintain my skill level and just allow me to grow and learn more so yeah let me know what you guys think so i'm gonna I'm go sesh thank you guys for watching like, subscribe, and sign out until the next video. So, later guys. Bye.